how to install an underground sprinkler system. Difficulty level 1 Hammer A sprinkler system controlled by a timer will relieve you of the chore of watering your garden. This system is discreet, effective and easy to install. You will need sprinklers, angled connectors, T connectors, a solenoid valve, a batten, an inspection cover, 25mm pipe, a paddle clamp, ICTA sheath, some adjustable extenders, a programmer, protective netting, some string, masking tape, gravel, a bucket, some posts, plaster and PTFE tape. You will need a spade, a weeding hoe, an adze, a rake, a pipe cutting wrench, a screwdriver, a drill and drill bit and a spanner. Open your garden tap fully and see how many seconds it takes to fill a 10 litre bucket. It should be able to fill a bucket in at least 27 seconds, which is a flow rate of 22 litres per minute. Work out the number of sprinklers you can have in your circuit by calculating the flow rate and the individual sprinkler rate. Since the water flow cannot usually supply water to all sprinklers at the same time, you can run the sprinkler zone by zone supplying water to separate circuits one after another. If you use a powered sprinkler, attach a hose of the same diameter as your circuit to the discharge side and measure the rate. Draw a plan of your garden on graph paper and position the sprinklers on it. Using a pair of compasses, estimate the spray area covered. To achieve uniform spray coverage, the spray areas should overlap. The final flow rate depends on the number of sprinklers, so distribute the sprinklers on your circuit according to the available flow rate. The sprinkler circuit usually begins near a garden tap under an inspection cover. Mark on your plan the types of sprinkler, their specific connector, elbow, angled connector, T connector, as well as the connections around the circuits, T, split right angle or extension pipe. Follow the plan and lay out the sprinkler network using a post for each sprinkler. Join them together with string to show the path of the pipes. Mark out the ditches by sprinkling a little plaster. Then remove the string and the posts. Cutting the grass very short before you start will make the task easier. The quickest way of concealing the 10 cm wide ditches you dig is to remove some strips of turf, laying them on the soil so they are easy to replace. Dig one side of the lawn with a spade. Then go to the other side and remove the turfs. Use a weeding hoe and then a rake over the bottom and remove the soil with an adze. For the sake of safety, the ditch should be at least 20 cm deep. Leave an extra 5 cm to accommodate the sprinklers, the valves or the taps. Then sprinkle a 5 cm layer of gravel which will help the ditch to drain. Begin with the furthest sprinkler. Attach the angle joint to the pipe, then the sprinkler, wrapping PTFE tape around the joint. Use a post as a temporary support behind the sprinkler. Use masking tape to attach it and keep it upright. Carefully lay the pipe into the ditch toward the next sprinkler or a junction. For the second sprinkler, you can use a paddle clamp attached directly to the pipe. Drill a hole in the pipe with a 10 mm drill bit. Next. Attach an adjustable extender, PTFE tape, and finally the sprinkler. At a T junction, cut the pipe with a pipe cutter at right angles, avoiding burring it. If it is a T junction, plug in a T connector to lead off to another distribution point. Slide a nut and the compression ring over the pipe. Finally, push the pipe all the way into the joint and tighten the nut. Gradually, attach all the sprinklers and keep moving from the furthest point back to where the water distribution circuit begins. The start of the water supply for the circuit may be buried and joined to the garden tap by a short length of pipe. You can operate several water circuits manually or use a battery-powered timer to control one or two networks independently, depending on the available flow rate. 
In a larger setup, the simple battery-powered timer connected to the tap can be replaced by a programmable control unit, operating electric solenoid valves placed at the start of each line of sprinklers. This electrical programmer should be protected from the weather by putting it inside. There should be an electrical power supply nearby. The solenoid power cables should be placed inside a conduit before passing through the wall, entering the solenoid valves under a waterproof sleeve and protective netting. Turn on the water supply. Make sure there are no leaks in the joints and all the sprinklers are working. If necessary, adjust the range and direction of each sprinkler. Replace the soil around the sprinklers, making sure that they are straight, and check the ground is level, using a batten placed across the sides of the ditch. Replace the soil using the rake and the strips of turf. Tamp the soil down well to make it level again. Use the sprinklers a few times so the disturbed grass will regrow and all the traces of the ditches will disappear.